Hello everybody, welcome to game number three of Brainless Chaos against Greased Nude Men. <laughs> it is Buttmaster X with with uh, Norse. So he could definitely fuck me here, he's got loads of block, I've got no block. Um, but we are equal TV, I think. Um, because he's 1090 and I've got the journeyman. We've both got the starting teams with an apple, basically. Um, just hope... The armor seven is actually armor seven and not armor nine. <laughs> XXXLs, yeah, the XXXLs are awesome. Chorf concede machine, yeah, dirty player has got to be the best skill for getting concedes, yeah, definitely. That is how you play in a manner which in in induces concessions. Yeah, it has. Yeah, the first half, I like... I <laughs> cool for who? The first half, I, I played it safe with a warrior, which, which made, like, your defense easy, didn't it, really? Whereas if I had... I shouldn't have done that. I, I shouldn't have covered against failure. I should have gone for the easier score rather than covering against failure. Was a, I think I definitely misplayed towards the end of the first half because I mean you should have stopped the score eight times out of nine almost. Yeah, Grease Newman is a pretty great um, thing. Also, they've got like a, an interestingly shaped thing, don't they? Claw, claw probably will. Yeah, this will be a dicing. Yeah, it's never actually armor seven. Yeah, that's true. It's either it's either armor nothing or armor eleven. That is how armor seven works. Right, get him back so we can get another skill. Want well, another skill? A skill. Do not name his berserker. Agnigara. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize. He just, he just said that's what I'd say, didn't he? What a motherfucker. I guess two guys back. Could make one the movement, the five star player point guy. So he can maybe do a. Mighty blow, fuck all. Imagine, imagine if he just makes like five cards. That'd be amazing. Alright. I guess I want these to come back just in case he gets the blitz because I don't want him to get served. The mythical gnomes. Ah. PD. Will he mans or will he not? <laughs> what is what is my record overall and with all my horrible Chaos Dwarf stars? He's manzing. Of course. Of course he manzes. So much for making a fucking mighty blow hit, eh? Instant failure. Uh. 
<sighs> 21 thirteen to 18 teams. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't even get a 2D with a mighty ball, can I? Can't even do it. I have to 2D him. 1D him. Like, it's just nothing I can do. Okay, maybe I can. Right, if this is a pal. Alright. A two dice with my, the mighty blow guy. The dream. Oh, yes. A brutal pushback. Brutal. No, oh, no. What <laughs> a shit shit. Yeah, L's, L's Vistral. Um, and I like just soft teams like L's, like Skaven and L's. Fresh Chaos is a good matchup for Norse, yeah. <laughs> fresh, fresh, uh, Fresh Chaos is a pretty, pretty great matchup for them. Yeah, it was perfect defense into Manzing, yeah. Means I'm going to run out of rerolls by turn three, though, doesn't it? That's the thing. Wow. Not much better than me. 21, 13, 10. And I mean, I've been awful with all those Chaos Dwarves. I mean, really awful. That's that's better than 50%. Oh my god. <laughs> Get banged on. That's not sub that's not how win rate works. Ducky. Um right. I've got no free players, of course. Blitz him and then block with a loner. Blitz, I guess I've got a blitz here, haven't I? <laughs> gotta get a mighty blow blitz in. No, no, that's not. A win, a win counts as half. Each draw is half a win and half a loss. Uh, that's not how it's. That's just simply not how it's. Um, it's that's not how it works. So. So everybody's wrong. <laughs> right. I need. Oh, can't can't cover against him. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Absolutely, 100% is. Right. I don't want to make like a brainless block in case it's a fucking turnover, but kind of had to. I guess I gotta go the pick up here and then back to here. There you go. He's getting surfed, but um, I guess if it, if it comes back to here, he doesn't get surfed. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, five, two, five. He doesn't get surfed, does he? And he still protects the ball. Right. No, 
Yeah, but that's only that's uh, that was only Targaryen tantrum to encourage people to play for wins more. <laughs> right, I've got to, I've got to make the one die because otherwise he's going to one die me, isn't he? Or even two die me. I don't play to not win. Yeah, you do, Flash. Of course you play to not win. If somebody calls five, if somebody causes nine casualties against you, you're damn sure playing to not to not win because you're playing to not lose, aren't you? Of course. <laughs> I don't care what try calculates things as. Oh, thank you, Plugak. Um, yeah, three points for a win is a great rule for football. It used to be, it, look, if you look at the history of football, it was two points for a win for like a hundred years and three points for a win for like 20 years. Well, probably 30 years now or something. But, um, you know... So, like, realistically, football always had two points for a win, one point for a draw, and none for a loss. So it was always the same. Wins and, you know, win a draw was always half a win. As it should be. As win percentages calculated. Right, blitz him, block him, and then block out of there. Can't foul him. But got the ball, which is something, isn't it? I need, I need to get away from the fucking... Um, oh, God, it's I did it wrong. I moved him wrong. Oh, God. That's, that's good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Got it. i got to eat the skulls here, haven't I? Forget them. Absolutely win rate. That is win rate, it is. I'm sorry if you disagree. But if you disagree, you're wrong. I guess I could go there, then it keeps him safe. Alright, fair. And he's just gonna get two dice blocked, wasn't he? So I, I I don't mind dodging away with people who are already already faced. Like if he was if he was on the floor I wouldn't have stood him up. Chaos have got to, haven't they? Low TV, they're like crap dark elves. Maybe, like, maybe if you play American football, like, maybe, like, American football, of course, 
is somebody always wins and somebody always loses. But when you've got draws, it's got, it's got to be a draw council. So that, that's the way it works in Blood Bowl. As far as Blood Bowl win rate is, that's what it is. It just is what it is. There you go. Um, I wish he could get over there. I guess blitz him. Leave him on the ground. Or base him and then... Uh, I don't really want to base, but... If it gets my mighty blow back in the fight... It is what it is. Three, GFI, GFI. I can't even base him. I guess he stays down for now. Yeah, they're very, very rare. Yeah, it's very, very incredibly rare in American football. <laughs> No, no, sound crap. It's just a dicey, aren't they? Yeah, that's exactly exactly correct. Big Ring Forty Two, because if you'd lost all of your games, you would have a zero percent win rate. That's exactly exactly correct. Big Ring Forty Two, exactly correct. Because if you don't count it that way, there's no difference between five draws and five losses, or ten losses. Or ten draws, or eight draws and two losses, and they are different, so they're not all zero percent, are they? That, that's what it is. That's what win percentage is. You have won fifty percent of your games if you if you've drawn them all. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's 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 how they balance the teams in in Blood Bowl as well. It's the ter it's just Blood Bowl terminology. It's not. It's, it just is what it is. Oh, fuck. I don't want to run through. I haven't got enough movement to run through. Oh god. Maybe we should try and play a game of Blood Bowl instead of just not. Shit, this warrior's pinned against the sideline. How did that happen? Well, I guess he's got to stay there, hasn't he? I thought we were going to do a f 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus out. It would be nice if he made it, though, wouldn't it? Because they're just going to abandon him. And then turn 6, he'll be there. Turn 7, he'll be there. I guess he'll get in the play before the game ends. So, no point making an armor roll on him. Chat is more important than BB.
Yeah, if you want, if you want. But in Blood Bowl, that's that's what everything. That is the that is the Blood Bowl thing. You know, it's it's how they it's how they classify everything. Is you know the the forty the fifty five to forty five percent win rate for teams. You couldn't do that with how many they won because it'd be crazy, wouldn't it? He's not getting served. Can blitz this guy to progress. It's bad that this exposes the ball, but there's nothing else I can do, is there? Two, three, four, five, six. Guess I've got to stay where I am. I love I love not paying attention to the game whatsoever because I'm talking fucking shit with chat. I really need to ignore chat sometimes, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense because wouldn't make sense, would it? Not in a game of football where it's the, you get so many draws. It'd be crazy. Mash Vagos has got the best name. Oh, this game's going fucking shit. Yeah, in, in Blood Bowl, that's what it is in Blood Bowl, Muldrip. So the win, win percentage or win rate in Blood Bowl is what it is in Blood Bowl. Not just fumble, naff, cyanide, it's all the same. That's what win rate BBRC, how they balance the game. It's um That's what it is. That is what it is. So seeing someone's got a sub fifty percent, it's pretty unfair. So now I've got a I've got to make some kind of stupid potato play now, don't I? Dodges all sorts. I guess stand up these geeks first. So they can get banged on. Put him in there. Push. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. This is pretty hard for him to hit him there. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Two dodges didn't there. GFI there is pretty good, isn't it? <sighs> Bet your house on it. Oh, man. Fucking hell. One, two plus fucking roll to make. Can't do it. Can't. No knockdowns ever. And then just a fucking two plus to make it safe. Can't fucking do it. Can't fucking do. 
One fucking two plus roll. Yes, Fashbinder. I made one pickup roll, which was a two that I had to re-roll, and then one GFI that was a one that I re-rolled and failed. I did make some dodges that didn't matter. Uh, well, failed one and got stunned, and then I think I made one. So I made made two dodges, stunned myself one time, and passed one. Made one pickup, had to use a re-roll, and then um, made one GFI, re-rolled it, and failed it. Great. Great. Fun times. Blood Bowl. Ugh. Still, I'm surprised he didn't just run through here. I mean, he, he would have had to do a one dice, or oh, I guess no, he had to do a half dice or something. So I guess it wasn't that that wasn't that crucial actually. I just thought he'd come through here, um, but he didn't. So that's good, isn't it? So now all I've got to do is not one in nine. Easy, isn't it? Easiest thing in my life. Don't one in nine. Wow. Well, Unbelievable, Jeff. I really thought I had to, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it could have been one day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it could have been. But, um... Thank fuck he didn't, eh? Whew. And he is down to ten, I think, for the second half. Three, six, nine, ten. But I might be down to less. <laughs> seeing as... Yeah, we've both used our apple. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, he's he had twelve players. Five, six, and zero. Obviously, Lino, Lino, um, whatever it's called, journeyman there. Oops. That was rough. That was rough. That fucking turn. I thought he was going to get one dice on the ball for sure. Um, I think it would have been pretty easy to get one dice on the ball at least. Um, I guess I should go here to in case he want, tries to one turn. Yeah, but it's different in football, isn't it, Muggles? So football ain't blood ball, so... I just don't even care about what football is. Yeah, exactly what If says. It's like Saurus. It's like Saurus, right, isn't it? People might think that Sauri or Sauropods or whatever is the fucking is the fucking plural, but it's Games Workshop's game, and Games Workshop say the plural of Saurus is Saurus. So all these people who say Sauri just wrong. 100% wrong. <laughs> wrong. 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 <laughs> yeah, now they're Soros blockers, so now now nobody can get it wrong. <laughs> Again, it's just getting, goes getting things out. Just things outside Blood Bowl making me salty, not actually not actually the win rate I <laughs> A peasant eye. Oh dear. Sauruses. Yeah. Fucking hell. Octopus in it. Oct oct you can say octopodes, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure octopodes is a thing. I'm, I'm sure I've seen Octopodes written down somewhere.
Wow, he's been really unlucky with his Yeti, to be fair. But he should have made it three down. Oh, well, I guess he wanted to get the one turn. Crazy motherfucker. Chaos Warrior Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorai has always grinded my gears. Always. <laughs> One octave is two Sorai. <laughs> oh man. Right, is he gonna foul or not? I'm on that fucking dwarf farming those passes. That really, that really pissed me off. That pissed me off. Really good. Even though it's like a game that I'd already lost. I'm just making like five fucking passes. There you go, octopodes. Happy days here. Right, I just need to get all the... Um... Oh, I don't want to do this sort of dude. Not against um, Norse. I don't have a defensive setup for him. God, Miss Clear. Yeah, I've got to do this self against Norse, haven't I? To protect, protect the good men's, and not get surfed. The second best man's kind of protected, isn't he? Don't want warriors hit by the Yeti, really. Chaos now versus Kemri. Well, if Chaos is at low TV, they're screwed. If they're high TV, then Kemri has the counter to claw upon with 40k linemen that have got armor 7 and thick skull. But they've also got Tomb Guardians, which are the best things in the world to play upon. So it's like six and two threes, really. If you get um, if you get a trivia side for Sorai, oh my god, a side for Sorai would be a good a good lizard man team. Yeah. But that's the thing, Stradica. It doesn't matter if if Saurus is in there because it's Games Workshop's race. So what they say is is right in what they say goes because they they wrote it in the same way as whatever they say goes for um for blood ball goes oh this is the danger of over committing here isn't there obviously i want to get him out and go through this square so i don't assist from that square Maybe I should just blitz the uh, Yeti. Get him down. <laughs> I wasn't about to get anything down anyway. There's no point doing that, is there? I guess. I, I tried to apply pressure, I failed. So, just have to... Try again. Not much of a fucking blitz. Oh, if I'd gone there. <laughs> okay, it's bad, okay. I do not love Bretonia, no Plugak. Um, but. They're obviously, they're a lot better now that they've got agility access. Not only are they better at winning games, they fit the fluff more, which is something that I, I don't like. Yeah, dope. <laughs> Mm 
Octobus. Should make an Octobus team instead of the Bantabus. <laughs> the Octobus. <laughs> He's going to do a 3D. I like Bretonian. I have a Bretonian. I had a fucking Bretonian army. But what I don't like about the Bretonians in Blood Bowl is that they don't fit the fluff. And uh, primarily they don't fit the fluff. But also there was no... There was nothing about the team. Was there? Mm. Oh my god. That can be my Nurgle team. The Octobus. That's brilliant, yeah, the Octobus can be, can be the tentacle, the tentacle mobile team. Holy shit. Cheeky 1D, punished with a re-roll usage or just punished with a death. I'm happy with either. No, no, rewarded with a, with a pow. Put a block back, which is alright, isn't it? Block back mountain. Brainless chaos, just make a blitz first action. Don't care. <laughs> blitz with your mighty blow back first action. I can't actually get an assist on, can I? I could make it a one dice. But then if it's a skull, he maybe gets served. So, that sucks. Don't really want to base people. Dodge out. I guess there's none here to dodge out because it's a bit of a frenzy pickle for him, isn't it? So leave him in even though it's a bit of a frenzy pickle. It's a bit of a frenzy pickle for him. I wonder how many YouTube videos Jimmy has a chat talking about this. All right, a lot, if <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Octopuses, yeah. Grumpy is a kitty cat, yeah. Hello, Inarian. What a sad turn. It was pretty sad, wasn't it? Hey, is is Yeti's roll crap, hasn't he? To be to to be fair. To be fair, I've been pretty lucky with the way his Yeti's rolled. Very lucky. Oh man, he gets the reroll. But he's in a frenzy trap! He's in a frenzy trap! Oh no, it wasn't. He cancelled it. Shit. Shit, he cancelled it. Motherfucker. Motherfucker cancelled the frenzy trap. That's not fair, is it? People shouldn't do that. People should just be bad and not cancel frenzy traps. That's what I like to see. What I like to see is people being bad and not 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 stopping it. No, <laughs> the yeti has not. The yeti has not had one even decent turn. It's true. It's been absolutely terrible. Yeah, it was it was a frenzy trap though. It was a frenzy trap. I'd I had laid the trap, but he had cleverly counted it. Unfortunately. Oh man. <laughs> now you just taking the piss, no amp though. <laughs> now you just fucking taking the piss. Ooh, that might let me get this guy on. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. 
If this is a if this is a knockdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. I <laughs> know that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> going for a GFI. Going for two GFIs. But what can what can I do? I'll make it three dice to make sure the knockdown works well. Not make sure it works. Hope it works. Alright, good. He can 2D him, he can 2D him, and he can 2D him. And I've got to go straight for it, haven't I? It's such a good opportunity, really. Unbelievable. Get banged on. Costly dodge. Costly dodge. When you got when you can make a two plus two plus to get the ball, you gotta go for it, haven't you? Like you can't you can't just assume everything will fail. Um even though you should, you know, not leave yourself open to things if you don't wanna be left with your pants around down your ankles if things fail, but um I guess I'm not even going to make the GFI this turn, because I'm going to reroll. So I can move him up there. And then make these cheeky blocks. Three, four, five, six. So we need this one as well. Come on, kill him. Even though he's done nothing. Oh shit. Alright, good. Still doesn't break AP. What's this? <laughs> Grow me old man. <laughs> oh dear. That is true, that is true, right. Yeah, VIP, I don't know, I shouldn't have planned on GFIs working. But no, I don't know, look, you got to go for it, haven't you? 2 plus 2 plus. you got to. Yeah, you can't assume everything will fail, but... That's what it is, isn't it? you got to... you got to think about what happens if it fails. What, what, what happens if everything fails? Thank you for the follow, J Bo. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing um, with with the other one. Um, yeah, the game against Omidon, I was a bit silly because I expected my block to fail, even though it only failed one in nine times. So I made a bit of a bad move, really. Oh shit! I'm going to get a counter serve. Well, I couldn't do anything about it. Could I? Literally, literally, couldn't do anything about it. But even then, sometimes you've got to just be left open. Like, I should have just left myself open to failure against Omidon. Because the only way I wasn't left open to failure gave him a better chance to, score, to stop the score. So, I went for the... I protected myself against the 1 in 9 fail. But in doing so, he required a 1 in 9 fail to give me a, chance to, a decent chance to score. So, I think there's a time and a place to, um, to do different things. Dirty dingo. I didn't even have the I didn't even have the extra GFI to make it safe to that, but right, just a pick up and a GFI to score. Um He can mark him. Potentially. One, two, three, four, five, yeah he can. So get a sweet chain push in. I mean not really that sweet. But at least it's three dice. So it shouldn't fail. And it doesn't fail. So now he can base him just in case. Could blitz, but it's only on two dice, and I really want to be able to reroll this. But on the other hand, it would get another guy in the in the zone, wouldn't it? Which would be really nice. So, all right, I guess I can make this blitz. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, I would have failed the pickup anyway, though. I would have failed the pickup. It does get somebody here, which is a nice place to be, isn't it? Not gonna make this block, I don't think. Which one's Mr. Hadwick? Oh man. Yeah, that was that was good making that one a three D, and then and after making that a three D, I went for a stupid two D. But I thought having this guy here was good. But I guess it doesn't matter, I should have just gone. But then I would have failed the pickup. So, GFI panic, yeah. Maybe I should have made the GFI last turn. Should I just go for it? He's based anyway. The only other one that can reach is him, and he can't really reach there, so fuck it. If I score, I've won. It's not just score in Arian, it's just try to score. <laughs> just try to score. If I didn't need to make a GFI, I would have scored. Um, if, if I was six squares away, I would have just scored. But um, but it was just try. That's the thing. People, people watch and they say, just score. It's like, it's not just score. It's just attempt to score. Um... And he did level, yeah, that was pretty good. That was hairy, wasn't it? That was a hairy touchdown, but yeah, two nils, game over, isn't it? I guess it's not. I guess he could score in two and then turn me over. But um, yeah, I did one in nine though first, didn't I? I did one in nine first before I made a three plus two plus without a reroll. Legendary. There's still time, and there's still time for his um, fucking Yeti to just make four cows or whatever. Yeah, he pushed into the crowd. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, if... Yeah, he, he moved on the... Um... Oh, yeah, as soon as possible, got a three. I should have said that, J-Berg, zero, one. Um, as soon as you can, got a three re-rolls. Yeah, as soon as you can, got a three re-rolls. Um, with Chaos Dwarves. Like, to be fair, the people with the... Um... The people who, who went about the five Chaos Dwarves, three re-rolls. I initially dismissed it, but I think I might try that here just to have got a bit of reliability. Oh, I don't know if, to be fair, it's like the whole game I haven't been down then. So, yeah, like 12 turns without being out down then. Unbelievable, isn't it? He does have five turns to clear the pitch. But, um, and I guess with only one reroll, I could fail a pickup, and you could put pressure on, and you could get a blitz. Like, that's the good thing about blitz, isn't it? It does mean that there's a chance for things to happen. Sometimes. Only a two now, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, must be cheating. Unbelievable. Did take the cars, but um, I pulled it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the three reels, five blockers, because um, because I just want six blockers because I I just think they're good. But um, man, dirty bingo. I still a turnover. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, good. Oh, he's the furthest forward, though. Well, I guess I've got to just do it. Put him there. Come on, mighty blow, man. Get a cast. Or just a one in nine instead. Yeah. He could go for the pickup, couldn't he? Dodge through. But, um. Can't clear all this shit out of the way. So I guess it's a bit silly.
Go for the 1D. What could, what could go wrong? Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe Glade Master. But on the other hand, if he'd... Like, that's the thing, you see. This is why people say, ooh, if you get block, you'll get more cars because you, you'll make more knockdowns. Well, not against fucking Norse, you won't, will you? He would have got no knockdowns if I hadn't got mighty. If I hadn't taken, if I'd taken block over mighty blow, he would have made no knockdowns because all his blitzes would have been bowled down, and I wouldn't have re-rolled it. Dirty dingo. Hot chain pushing action. Very good. Get banged on. He's made two cars this game, wasn't he? Up to ten. Does it not? I mean, it definitely does against block players, obviously. There's no question about it getting more cars over when you block it with block. But then, um, I don't know. Because he actually gets blocked more if you don't re-roll the blocks and stuff. The only thing is it puts more pressure on your team. Oh, there you go. Um, it puts more pressure on your team because you've got to re-roll the, the, the both downs that he rolled. Which obviously isn't great. So it might not be better for winning to um, have Mighty Blow. But it's, I think there's no doubt that it's better for levelling your guy. <sighs> it's a bit shit that the only square I can push him to is surrounded by Norsemen's. But I guess if he scores next turn. It's really bad, isn't it? So he blocks him, he blocks him, then he bases him or blitzes him even. And he blitzes him, he bases him. And this is the most important block, I think. And this basing here. Because he could still potentially score and then have two turns to turn me over. Okay, go for this one. <laughs> Just because I want to hurt his Yeti, or at least leave him blocking those journeymen. Um, not even down, man. I think I'm up, man. I've got ten, but I think he's got he's got nine now. So up men, three, six, nine, yeah, up men. So <laughs> yeah, that's true, Jam Toast. I did do that. I did do that, but I mean, it wasn't. It was hardly scientific, was it? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck not that guy. That was a great position by him, wasn't it? Excellent. Right. Um, I've got to blitz this guy. And then make a dodge for a pass or some bollocks. I don't know. Get a Kaz. <laughs> I 
very long legs on Kira swapping. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe I could just move, keep it on him. Two GFIs there. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Two, G three GFIs to score. He could run it back for the touchdown himself. Just one GFI this time. God, good old North. North's getting their armor broken. What the actual fuck? You don't see that every day, do you? Right, so it's two GFIs left in me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, two GFIs. There is no dream on me. <laughs> Only misery. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no dream on me. I mean he did he did have a he did have a chance of the draw. If he'd scored that if he'd scored turn fourteen, he would have had a chance of the draw, wouldn't he? Yeah, that's why I went for the pass, yeah, exactly. Fash fash that was it. Yeah, that's a good point, VIP Adonikellis. And also, I mean, the key thing is... Oh, there you go, pricker. Ah, but it's the journeyman, it's the journeyman, because I put the journeyman next to him. Yes. Get banged on, shithead journeyman. Um, <laughs> Slipping off in the GFI addiction. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's why I marked him. It's why I marked him with the warrior, because he did actually have the chance of the draw, didn't he? Like, it was possible. Right. One, two, three, four, five, cheer five. Right, so I've got canoring threats. If I need them. GFIs with this lad, you might get killed. Just moving up there. Gotta follow just for the better animation. No, very, very good point, Kurgol. It was just because I didn't have the space in front of him to make the second GFI. Um, I should have done better. Yeah, I should have made the GFI this turn. So if he failed it, I could have scored with one of the one of the Canoran threats. So yes, that was an absolute misplay. Well spotted, um, VIP Kurgol. Absolute misplay, not making both GFIs that turn. Yeah. It's just that I couldn't. I couldn't from where position have I? That was that was the problem. That was the problem. Once once these two were here. It was um, it was bad times. No, no, no email back. Um, TBH fam. I might be able to push him forward here. Um, that seems better than anything else. He could blitz him to there, push him to here. Then he could block him forward. Yeah. 
That's better than making a GFI, isn't it? Oh, shit, shit, I could have just pushed him with the first one. If I put two people in, oh, you fucking knobhead. Absolute fucking knob jockey. If I put that guy in there and that guy in there, I would have got him on the first block. I was, I just thought I could push him to there and then get another one, but if I just put them two in, I could have got it the first time. Shit. So there you go, that was an idiotic move there, you saw. And now, of course, I fail the GFI. So, that was an idiotic move by myself. Good. Good. Punished for being an idiot, as it should be. <sighs> no, I came from that square. Oh, I came from that square. Good, I wasn't a failure. Right, thank you, okay, no. <sighs> I wasn't a fucking idiot. Good. Just punished for trying to roll a 2+. plus. Just punished for trying to roll a 2+, plus. then. The usual stuff. Uh, might as well roll a 3, because I want to buy a beast man. So there is a point of going over. Uh, don't go over 150. Um, Alright, good. Just just punished rolling a 2+, plus. then. I, re I saw it, as, obviously, as soon as I made the push, as everyone did. It was like, fuck's sake, if I just filled them up. But yeah, it came from that square. Fair enough. Not my fault. Um... Right, three level ups, let's fucking go. Might go mighty blow on him, just because he's on nine, he's so close to getting the second one. Yeah, I might I might go plus strength on this guy. Maybe. I'll think about that, whether it go plus strength on him. And, uh... Just to get a little bit of block going, eh? So now I've got... The ball carrier, two killers, and um, I guess sack him, a journeyman's better. Movement five guy. <laughs> Farming the Norse, full success. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. So now the only question is block or... Block or mighty blow? The, the eternal question for, like, one Chaos Warrior. All the others are just going to go block. Or like block guard. Maybe probably all the rest just go block guard. I don't know. Things have gone a mighty blow, beast man. I guess all these go block guard. The other, these three will all just go block guard, mighty blow, claw piling on. Whereas this guy could go mighty blow, claw. Uh, I don't know. I need to think about this one. But, um. Plus strength's pretty good. Um. Yeah, maybe go block. I mean, the fact that I've already got a Mighty Blow Blitzer make going, makes going block Mighty Blow on this guy maybe more appealing. He could go block Mighty Blow Claw, and then these could go block Guard. Um, yeah, he's closer to block Guard, that's true. But um, but the thing is, Bexero, Mighty Blow by itself, this is, the, this, is the, this is my reasoning then. So he's got a bunch of points, he's closer to block Guard, while Mighty Blow gets points ever. The thing is, um, if you go block, he's reliable, and it doesn't matter how long it takes him to get to his second skill, um, because block a block warrior is great. So, um, if you go mighty blow, if you go mighty blow, he's worse for longer. So, the thing is, so that's why if like this guy gets an extra MVP, if he goes to ten or whatever, he goes to twelve and gets his first skill at twelve. Then I go Mighty Blow, so he's shit for less long. Because Mighty Blow Claw is amazing. Whereas Mighty Blow by itself is a little bit shit. So that that's that's yeah, exactly. Block block is they're just done. Block is amazing. I would never go guard first ever. Um, even though Fash and Oriolensis it's a fair enough it's a fair enough argument. But I would just always go block on Mighty Blow first. Mighty Blow Claw piling on as the first three. Or block guard or block mighty blow whatever well, you can do anything once you got block but block because you just don't start with guard you know if you had orcs going guard first on the black orcs is fine because you got four block with the blitzers but um i think it's hard to justify going guard first I, I would only ever choose between block and mighty blow um 
right and i will think about it a little bit so if you enjoyed that don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>